Greetings, I'm Professor K, and in this short video presentation, we're going to take a look at how we go about installing and using a new Windows feature called the Windows Sandbox. Windows Sandbox creates a secure Windows within a Windows virtual machine environment entirely from scratch and walls it off from your real PC. You can open a browser, you can surf securely, download apps, and even visit websites that you probably wouldn't normally visit. Sandbox also includes a unique convenience. You can copy files in and out of your virtual PC, bring them out of quarantine if you absolutely are sure they are safe. So let's go see how we go about installing this application that comes with the Microsoft's update for May 2019. Now there's a few caveats that you got to know about before you can even install the Windows Sandbox. First of all, you need a 64-bit capability with your hardware. You have to have at least two CPU cores available. Virtualization must be enabled in your motherboard's BIOS, and it has to be either a Windows 10 Pro or a Windows 10 Enterprise Edition that is installed on your host machine. You're also going to need at least 4 gigabytes of RAM, though 8 gigabytes is preferred, and you will need at least 1 gigabyte of free disk space. And the last caveat is that this does not come installed by default. Even though you have the Windows Update, you have to go up inside of your Add and Remove Windows Features and add this as an additional application. All right, so let's see how we do that. So I've opened up my Control Panel. Up inside of my Control Panel, I'm going to go to Programs and Features, and there are many different ways to get to the Programs and Features. I'm just taking you through one of probably several or more different ways that you can get to this part of the operating system. Let's go ahead and launch. Now once you're inside of the programs and features, you're going to go over here and you're going to turn Windows features on or off. Let's go ahead and click that. Give it a chance to refresh. Now you're going to scroll down pretty close to the bottom and you're going to find where it says Windows Sandbox. Now if this feature is grayed out, that's because you're possibly trying to run it inside of a virtual machine and you cannot run a virtual application inside of a virtual machine. There's nothing to emulate. The other reason that it might be grayed out is because you don't have either the Pro or the Enterprise version available or your system does not meet any of the hardware requirements or some of the hardware requirements. So I'm going to go ahead and check this and I'm going to say OK and it's going to begin the installation of the Windows Sandbox. Now once Windows has installed the necessary files, you're going to have to reboot. So let's go ahead and close out everything, and then when we come back up, we'll go ahead and launch and see how this Windows Sandbox actually works. So my Windows 10 machine has rebooted. We're back up, and now we're ready to launch this Windows Sandbox application. To launch an application, all you're going to do is go down here to the search bar and you're going to type in Windows Sandbox. The first time that you run the Windows Sandbox, it's going to take a couple of minutes for Windows to get everything organized and to find all the resources that the Sandbox needs the first time you launch it. Now the second time you launch it, it will launch much quicker, but the first time it takes a few minutes for it to come together. Now you can go ahead and make this full screen if you like. If you would like to check your connection, you can use these bars over here that indicate the type of connection or the quality of your connection and just click on that and it'll tell you that the quality of the connection to the remote computer is excellent. Go ahead and say OK to that. So you can do anything you want inside of this sandbox in regard to browsing or opening up suspicious files. So if you want to go to the internet and visit a suspicious site or you want to download an application, then you could download it and you could watch it as you install it to see if it's going to install any unwanted malware or spyware on your machine. Now the great thing about the sandbox is that if anything happens that is inside of the sandbox that is causing you concern, all you have to do is close out the sandbox and nothing will be saved. That's the great thing about it. It's completely virtual. Now the other great thing about the sandbox is the moving of files from the sandbox over to your host machine. Now what this means is 
once you've downloaded an application or a file and you confirm that that file is no longer of a threat well then you can just copy it and paste it to your normal desktop let's see how that works now one thing that you're not going to have is you're not going to see any of your installed applications from the host machine you won't have access to any of the files on your host machine but as I said you can copy and paste from one to the other so in this example what I've done is I've created a file up inside of the sandbox and I'm just going to right click on it I'm going to go to copy and now I'm just going to go ahead and select paste and there it is on my desktop and as I previously stated once you close out this sandbox nothing in it will be saved so it's not something that you can work in and expect to come back and find your work still present now to close it out all you have to do is just go up here to the right corner close it out as you normally would it is virtual so you're not going to hurt it and it tells you are you sure you want to close the window sandbox once window sandbox is closed all of its contents will be discarded and permanently lost go ahead and say okay to that and you're back to your desktop and so that's going to conclude this short video presentation on how we go about enabling or adding the windows sandbox to our host machine so if you have any questions or concerns don't hesitate to reach out and contact your instructor and i'll see you in my next video